So if you've got a Skoda Fabia and you're turning the ignition key, the lights are coming on the dashboard, but it's not actually cranking over. turn the key and there's nothing happening nothing at all the engine's not rotating and it's not starting it's a nice simple fix these particular models the Volkswagen the Polos the Golfs um, they all suffer with the same problem there's a wire on the top of the starter motor which attaches to the starter motor solenoid and as the engine moves about all the time and shakes the wire where it goes into the connector pr plug fractures and breaks off It also sometimes corrodes a little bit. The hardest bit about this job is getting to it. It's tucked away down below the air box, the battery unit, it's not very nice. If you've got a Golf, they're a bit easier to get at, but these Fabias and the Polos, you've got to take out this air box and the battery. So let's get stuck in and start to pull it apart. First things first on these, you've got these plastic covers that you just pull the clips on the side and pop them off. So the top of the battery cover comes away, you're left with the second one. You've got to remove the power lead and the auxiliary power lead that goes to the little fuse box on top of the battery cover. So whip those out and then we can take away, or we're going to pull forward the second cover. That then exposes, there's the bolt, 13 millimeter bolt at the front on the battery clamp. And then we can take the negative terminal off and pull the battery out. That's rid of that. Now, the air box, you've got the clamp at the top on the intake part to the engine. Squeeze that, pull the plastic pipe off. On the other side, this air box, it's actually attached on rubbers and a 10 millimeter bolt. Pop that 10 millimeter bolt out and then the rubbers, you've got to grab hold of that and give it a good tug and pull it up, pull it up, get it out of the way. get the battery retaining tray out it's three 13 millimeter two nuts and one bolt so we'll pop those out these are sometimes a bit corroded so they can be tight um, whiz them out And the tray's all nice and loose now and we can just what you've got is this plastic cover that goes round the battery tray you only need to pull the clip that you can get to on the left hand side just pull that lift the plastic up and then you can pull the negative wire out get rid of that you don't have to take the whole lot off because you can't get at those they're a bit fiddly Leave that all intact, take the whole tray out now with this plastic trim around it. That can go out the way, ready to go back in in a minute. You can now see that starter motor. You can see the starter motor solenoid wire. And if you give it a tug, chances are it's gonna come off in your hand if it isn't already just dangling loose like this one.
the connector plug, it sometimes are a bit fiddly to get off. You can squeeze and pull. This particular one is broke, so I've got to get the screwdriver in and just stick it in the back and pull it off. Get rid of that. We're going to strip that wire back slightly, strip back the plastic sheathing to give us a little bit of room, and then we're going to pop a, a little terminal, a spade terminal, on the end of that wire. So we grab hold of the piece of wire and we're just going to pull the plastic sheath off the outer. It's just held on with a bit of tape, so a, a bit of a tug and it comes off. So now we've exposed that wire. We're just going to cut down this, this outer sheath by about an inch, slide that back onto the solenoid wire and then just strip the end off it to put a terminal on. So we're just popping about 8 mil of plastic off that, twisting it up. We're going for this spade terminal, female, on as wire. You can stick it in with your finger and just push it on. Female crimp on the end of this wire. Squeeze it up with the crimping pliers. Really good connection there now, beautiful. As you're looking at it, the terminal is horizontal. So it's nice and flat. So put your terminal in horizontally, you'll push it on, beautiful. So I just stick my finger in the end of that plug just to make sure the direction and then squeeze that in and it's it's quite easy to find it. Oh there she goes, look. Beautiful. That is that sorted. The starter motor is now going to work, just a case of putting it all back together again. So here we go on the rebuild. First of all, battery tray. So we just slide that down, get that into its position. Bit of a jiggle, get them bolt holes lined up at the bottom. We'll put that earth lead back through the gap in the casing. That's all in place nicely now. We'll grab hold of us three, three bolts. We've got well, two nuts and one bolt. Just get them all lined up and then we can whiz those back down again. I do apologise for this camera angle. It's, uh, I've only got one pair of hands and should have done with another couple. But they're all back in nice and tight. Yeah, and the last one. Where's that one up? Beautiful. Battery goes back in. We'll drop that in, locate it. We can pop the terminals back on again. That's the positive terminal going on. We'll just nip up the, uh, the retainer and again the negative terminals going on there. Both 10 mil bolts, just whiz them up. Then we've got the auxiliary feed to the little fuse box on top of the plastic cover. We'll just put that back on again, nip that down, beautiful. Here goes the top cover. Now we're going to put that bracket down the front. You can get your hand down there just to put that battery retaining bracket in. 13 millimeter nut again, just whiz that back up. We're not gonna go too mad with that. We can locate this top cover now, clip that down. Put that front plastic trim back on again. It just slides in at the bottom and then push the little clips in at the top. Pop, on she goes, lovely. Now it's the air box. We've got this one lug at the back and the rubber at the front which pushes down so it's locate that back rubber first push down the front one here we go see that little lug down there it's just going to pop there we go straight through that all in nicely put that front pipe in to the air intake and then we'll pop this one back on again it all slips together nice and easy We've got the 10 mil bolt on the right hand side of the air box, we'll whiz that up. Okay, we're not going to go too mad with these. Put the clip back on that intake pipe. That's a good picture in my hand. 
there we go look that's the clip back on again put the battery top back on and let's give it a go the moment of truth knock it out of gear because we did move the selector when we were playing under the bonnet oh look at that absolutely stonking jobs are good and turn that key beautiful it all fires up if that's been of any use to you drop me a little thumbs up like subscribe and thanks for watching